north and one to the south, all linked by the line of sight. There were not defensive towers, there was no cannon based on them. There was a garrison in the towers. And their job was, if an invading fleet was coming up from the south of Ireland, or the first tower to see this invading fleet, they would light a fire on top, and each other tower had a lookout, and as they would see the fire, they would subsequently light the fire themselves, and so on and so forth, with a chain reaction all the way up along the coast, which would give some time to the armies in the north to get ready for an invitation. This never actually happened. Neither Napoleon or the Spanish ever invaded the island of Ireland, and the British, the British left here in 1922, with his country. Let's go right back to the very beginning of how these things were actually formed. Millions of years ago, there was an ancient river that ran down through the world of the world, and it exited into the Atlantic Ocean at this point.
They later made Ricky Marks on the edge of the cliff. into the gap between the two forts or the two settlements. Lis is Gaelic for fort and Dune is fort also. Varda is gap. So Lis, Dune, Varda. And in Lis or Varda, if you've been there, there's a deep ravine running right through the middle of the whole town. So at some stage there were two settlements on either side of the ravine and that's where it gets its name. The village of Dula translates into Black Pool, Dovlin, Black Pool. And this is to do with all the turbulence that's in the water from deep Atlantic swells down at the harbour. So folks, we're just going to start making our way back to the harbour now. If anyone has any questions at all, the crew will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed our adventure. Thank you.